Alright, hello guys and gals, I'm Ian from Pillars of Gaming. Today we're going to play some Dark Souls. Um, I'm planning on making this my series instead of Matthew's. He doesn't never do a good job. Uh, we're going to start a new character. We're going to call him Hutchinson. Because that's just a nice name. Uh, he's going to be male. I think I'm going to be a Pyromancer, because they start at level 1. Nice, all well-rounded class. Starts with the Pyromancy Flame, so... We're going to start with the... I could start with the Pendant. Yeah, why not? Let's start with the Pendant. Let's make him... Um... Let's just make him average. He's fine. What kind of hairstyle? That's a little bit like mine. Let's go wild. Uh, dark brown. Alright. We're starting the game. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then, from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The Witch of Isolith and her Daughters of Chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight and his Faithful Knights. And the furtive Pygmy, so easily forgotten.
Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. This is your fate. Alright, so we've gotten into the gameplay. That was the opening cutscene. As you see the strange man from the ceiling, uh, if I can pan up there. You can see from that hole up there. He uh, dropped this body with a key on it, which opens our cell. Now, as a character, we can roll, we can sprint, we can... Weak attack, weak and strong attack, we can lock onto targets, and a variety of other things. And there are messages here left by the developers telling you how to do stuff, such as running, or dashing as they call it. And uh, we, um, we are hollow, so we are an undead, if you will, and we're trying to collect souls. Right now our goal is kind of ambiguous, we're just trying to escape, I guess. If you look through that tiny hole up there, I think, you can see what looks like a something moving. And we can open this door. If you get a, you can better get a better look. See, there's a uh, enemy up there. This is the Asylum Demon. We can fight him right here. Or, we can just go into the side passage and are safe. You do, get, you do get a reward if you kill him in your first encounter. But, um, you still have to go through this area. So equip our shield. And we can block now. And then let's get our axe and equip that. We can also two handed for extra damage. And just take him out rather quickly. And now this place looks familiar. 
Hmm, some stairs. Ow. <laughs> I rolled slightly into it. Didn't kill me, but... But it opened up this path. Hey, this guy looks familiar. He's the guy that oh, was on the roof. You, thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon. Then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I are both undead. Hear me out, will you? And then, um... He's pretty Regrettably, cool. I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying, Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Oh. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. And thank you. And then he just passes peacefully. And we got Estus Flask, our healing item. And also this door over here. That allows us to rest at this bonfire. Now, resting in a bonfire will heal you completely, restore all your uh, spell castings, and re not repair your items, but. It's locked by some contraption. Hmm. But it will also uh, respawn all the enemies. So you have to make a careful decision either sit at a bonfire and restore everything. And lose progress or try and risk it and go forward and here we get our pyromancy flame which allows us to do um, pyromancy casting Took him out. Let's explore this area a little bit. It's a soldier dude. That is a parry and a riposte. By uh, strong attacking with your left hand weapon. Most of the time, if it's a shield, well, unless it's a heavy shield, it will result in a parry. And if you time it correctly, you can score a repose, which does massive amounts of damage. And this is a plunging attack. This being the first boss, he's pretty easy. He does this like butt slam attack. And he's down. And we get the big pilgrim's key, which allows us to progress. and a humanity, which will be important later. 
And see, that door opens up, that leads just back to the bonfire. We can continue forward. Now if you listen closely, you can still hear footsteps of something large, probably underneath us. We'll discover what that is at a later time. For now, we are going to continue forward and go to Lordran. Escape from this place. But not before we get a uh, soul item. That's over here. Right here. And we continue forward. Whee! This is Only probably going to be the. In the Sorry, ancient uh, legends, it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Lordran. Now this is Firelink Shrine. We can now level up at bonfires, and this is going to act as our first hub. And uh, this is probably a good stopping point. So, I'll see you guys next time. I've been Ian from Pillars of Gaming. Like, subscribe, comment down below if you enjoy what you're seeing. And, uh, bye!